And this this barrel, it's a 54 Nobody caliber, it. but it's a flared muzzle. It's 57 at the muzzle, and then you can thumb start your 54 caliber round ball and then run it home. Makes it an easier loading gun, but that is an 1803 Harper Schrary, and that one was made in 1818. We have Crazy Coyote Mountain Man Dave. Nice. It was a little bit older gun. It was started out in 1817, made by Derringer, the Derringer pistol fame. Yeah. You had a military contract, and this is what they called a common rifle. This particular one was made in 1841, were in manufacture almost right up to the Civil War. It was a Harper's Ferry 18 model. This particular rifle was made in 1837, and it's one of your very it started its life out as a flintlock, like these others. See right there is where the pan was, and they just filled it in with the wedge and changed out the hammer, and then they right directly into the barrel and threaded it and put a nipple in it. And that's your early conversion to cap off. This here is a Belgian double barrel. And look at that red stag card handle. And you know, the primary gun when you're on harsh guard duty at camp and mountain and red. You wanted a double barrel. The Indians okay. respected it. You had more than one shot in the dark. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. You got one shot. You want a good belt gun. This one here was made Lloyd's of London. It's a 48 caliber, and it's one of the first guns I've come across that had a safety on it. At half cock, I can slide that in and lock the cock so it can't fire. Now, you ever heard the expression? Full cock. So that. That, that's where that term, you ever heard the term of a flash in the pan? Mm -hmm. Nothing but a flash in the pan? That comes from them flintlocks. When you're loading it up, you got the gun all loaded, you got it primed, and all it does is flash in the pan. All you are is a flash in the pan, nothing happening. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of living history. Look for our next rendezvous video to come out soon. Happy trails, pard.